So the line is a pretty fundamental object. I mean, it's a matter of picking the start point and picking the end point and then continuing on from there. So now I could come up here and pick my next point and I can create that, that object there. But there's some options that are built into the line command. So for example, if I move my cursor back to this, this point here, at the, the, it's tough to see, but the little cursor there has changed color and I'm gonna click and drag and notice by clicking and dragging, I can actually create arcs. Now you can see that this little center line, center mark has popped up. So depending on the side that I go on there, will actually determine the tangency of the arc that I'm creating because yes, it is going to create a tangent arc. So now I can come in here, pick that point. Let's come over here and, and click, and let's drag here to create that offset and we'll specify that point. Now what's really cool about it um, and if you haven't looked at this in a couple of releases, is that it will actually create the tangencies of both sides. So even when I come in here and snap, it will create those tangencies of both sides. So it's a matter of just moving your cursor back to that point and clicking and dragging to generate that arc. We can also use the line to create um, tangent lines. So again, it's a click and a drag. So here's this arc, I'm gonna click and drag and notice how it's creating this, this tangent line. So it was a matter of clicking and dragging to define that tangency. So I kind of click, drag, pulled away from it, and we can see that it's defined that, that tangency. So I'm gonna pick a point out here, and we can see that it snapped that in there and went tangent. Well, I can also go perpendicular to an arc, and it's a matter of the direction I pull away from it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click and drag again. So there's a key to the whole thing here, it's clicking and dragging. But I'm gonna click and drag and pull away, and notice how it's actually going radial perpendicular to that arc. So again, I can click and drag and let go, and we can see how it's actually constrained that to that point. I can do the same thing with lines actually. So I can click and drag and pull away from it and notice how it's creating this perpendicular line for me. So when I'm done, it snaps and it's done perpendicular. So it was a matter of clicking and dragging to do that. So clicking and dragging from the arc, clicking and dragging from the line, clicking and dragging from the, whoops, clicking and dragging from the end point here will generate that arc for me.